Ah! Ah! Don't sign it, George. Mr. Lucas, don't. Don't sell it to Disney. Don't, don't, don't sign it, George. The worst nightmare. Oh God. Pronouns. Oh my God. Some more big old piece of trash. Oh my God. So, in this episode, the Jedi is looking for me. And they need Osha's help to find her. And May is looking for the Wookiee Jedi to kill. And then decides she doesn't want to kill the Wookiee Jedi. And guess who shows up? A master shows up. And the Jedi all get force pushed with the biggest force push that I've ever seen in any Star Wars property period that I can currently think of at this time. The biggest force push that I've ever seen. And a lot of people were saying that the Joker Sith was a woman. <laughs> I was looking at the body language of that Sith or whatever it's supposed to be. You know, the Joker Sith, the Darth Joker or whatever. Uh, smile o Ren. Smile o Ren. <laughs> uh, and I think it may be a woman underneath that. So, um,. And that was the best part of the whole thing. Literally. Boring, 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 woke, boring, boring, boring. Well, all shows woke, but you know. <laughs> woke exclamation point. Pronouns. <laughs> and then there was like that part right at the end. It, 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 it pulled up on Smilo Ren, pulled up on Osha, flung her to the side. Um, well, no, lit the, wait, did he, lit the, the lightsaber, flung her to the side, and then force pushed all the Jedi. That kind of rhyme, don't need to play the game. Bars! Um, the part, well, everybody's going to be bringing up, it's funny because people were all saying, yeah, for what we understand, uh, episode four has pronouns. <laughs> Um, Osha's talking to the, the girl that she knows, the Jedi, the Chitara looking Darth Maul hybrid, uh, you know, and she says something like, uh, does he or they, um, and I was just like, <laughs> um, you know, it was funny, um, when I was watching the trailers, you know, when the trailers first started coming out for this, you know, it looked, um, high budget, like, uh, it reminded me of the quality, it felt like it might have the quality that, uh, that the Mandalorian, the first two episodes, I mean, seasons of the Mandalorian did, but it, it really does feel kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hokey, there's a kind of a camp to it, it just doesn't feel, you know, good at all, um, it's, 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 like I've said before, it's biggest sin, it's not that it's woke, it's that it's, it's just boring, highly boring, surprisingly boring, actually, you know, because I'm usually intrigued by Star Wars stuff. I've always been intrigued by it, you know, at least even if I thought it was a little boring, like, uh, was it Attack of the Clones or whatever, this 
It's the second one. I always forget what the second one is called, but it's got to do with the clones, the second prequel. And um, even though I, I was a little bored with it, I was still a little intrigued. I was still intrigued watching it. You know what I mean? Um, there's no intrigue here. It's just boring. And I, I don't know what else to say about this episode. It's another one out of five. Woos! Uh, I don't know what people are going to think. It, uh, here's my thing. You shouldn't have ended it with that force push. You should have ended it with what a climactic fight, which would bring up the rating. Uh, this should have been something. So I guess the next episode is going to, you know, show us whatever fight that the Jedi are going to have with this Sith, which I'm sure is some powerful female Sith. Uh, or whatever they would call themselves, a Sith, a, a witch Sith, a Sith witch. There we go, a Sith witch. A Sith force witch that uses the power of the thread. But, yeah, that, that's about it, y'all. Post comments down below, let me know what you all think. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs>